I'm going to be talking to you about arithmetic sequences and series, as well as geometric sequences and series. Now these words may sound really complicated, or at least uh, you know, very similar to each other, and maybe you don't know the difference. So I'm going to go over, first of all, what is a sequence? Now a sequence is nothing but a list of numbers. That's it. So I can have any sequence. It can be any list of numbers at all. They don't have to be related necessarily. Okay, so a sequence in general is just a list of numbers. Normally it's separated by a comma. For example, I could say um, oh, 2, 15, 21, negative pi. Doesn't really matter. This is a sequence. Now what does it mean to be arithmetic? Ah, well, that's the key thing here. So an arithmetic sequence is a special kind of sequence. Um, so maybe we'll put a little square around this one right here like this. So an arithmetic sequence, what does that mean? Um, well, it's a list of numbers because it's a sequence, but there's something very special about it. So we're going to say that they have something in common. They have a common difference. So this is the key thing here with an arithmetic sequence. That is it. This is the key to doing them right here. So I'm maybe going to make this in a different color. Maybe I'll put little happy faces around it or something like that. So this, this is what you need to know in order to know if something is an arithmetic sequence. I think I've made this really ugly, haven't I? Oh, well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> maybe I'll actually uh, erase that. All right, so arithmetic sequence, list of numbers, common difference. That's how they work. So let's do maybe um, a few examples. So let's take a look at this. Maybe I'll change my pen back to a regular color here. So we'll do an example. So maybe we'll do a list of numbers here. So maybe I'll give you something like a 2 and 5, negative 3, 4, dot, dot, dot. Now what I'm going to do here is try to figure out, is it arithmetic? You know, so I'll say question mark. And if so, what is the common difference? And we're going to call the common difference, I forgot to say that, uh, we're going to call that D. The common difference will be D. So in this case right here, then I'm going to call it D. And we're going to do a list of numbers here. So let's uh, take a look at this one. So 2, 5, negative 3, and 4. Well, the difference between 2 and 5 is 3, but the difference between 5 and negative 3 is not 3 again. So this is for sure not arithmetic. So because of that, it doesn't make any sense to find the value of d. All right, so there isn't a common difference. Well, what about uh, this list? Maybe I say 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, dot, dot. Well, the difference between each of these is 2. You see between 1 and 3, there's, you have to add 2. And here you add 2 to get to 5. You add 2 to get to 7. So this is arithmetic. And the common difference is 2, because you add 2 each time. Uh, we can take a look at something like this. 4, 6, 9, maybe we'll say 13. So this one may seem arithmetic, because the difference between this and this is 2. The difference between this and this is 3. The difference between this and this is 4. Is it arithmetic, though? No. It doesn't have a common difference. So it doesn't make any sense to have a D here. However, you can still predict. I mean, I could be asked, you know, what's the pattern here? And you could say, oh, well, the difference here is 2, then the difference is 3, then the difference is 4. So I bet the difference here is 5. And so I would add 5 to that and say, oh, the next number is 18. So the fact that it's not arithmetic doesn't mean you can't do anything with it. It just means that it doesn't work with this particular definition. Well, we can have other lists as well. So we have this list, like negative 2, 6, 14, 22. Is this arithmetic? Now, you can have negative numbers, but the difference between 6 and negative 2 is actually 8. And the difference between 6 and 14 is also 8. And the difference between 14 and 22 is also 8. So this is arithmetic difference D here is 8. And of course we can do something with a difference uh, like this. So we can say 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4, dot, dot, dot. Something like this. Now this difference is common. In other words, there is a common difference. This is arithmetic. Can you see what the common difference is? It may not be obvious. But here you have to subtract. 
which what I wanted to show you here is that the difference is allowed to be negative. So 5 to 2, you know, to get from 5 to 2, you have to subtract 3. From 2 to negative 1, you also subtract 3 from that. And negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 3 would be negative 7, and so on. So here, it's negative 3. So I hope that shows you a little bit about how we can uh, work with arithmetic sequences. Now we have something called the general term. So this is actually really important here. This will allow us to find out any term that we want with an arithmetic sequence. So again, if it's arithmetic, if it has a common difference, then we write it like this. un equals u1 plus, and here we put in brackets, we say n minus 1, all that times d. This is a general term of an arithmetic sequence. This is super important here. This one right here, this is, this is the key to solving these or working with these. Well, we need to know what everything means here. So this one right here, I'll say uh, u1, uh, un, sorry. Maybe I better write a little bit clearer here. So u with a little subscript n. That tells me we're looking for the nth term. So for example, if I say u5, that means I want the fifth term. If I want u20, then I want the 20th term. And u1, well, that's the first term. N is just some number that you're looking at, so in this case it's nth term. So if you wanted the fifth term, then this would be 5 here. If you wanted the twelfth term, this would be 12. But D, that is the common difference. So that's how we work with these. That's all there is to it. So maybe now let's look at an example. So we can see this example here. If we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and the question is, what is U5? Well, what I'm really looking for, that's the fifth term. And it helps, maybe, to find out if this is really arithmetic. Um, now, of course, you could just guess, by the way, because I've, I've asked you a question on purpose that's insanely easy. I mean, you can say, okay, if this is 1, then 3, then 5, then 7, each of these you add 2 each time. So you could say u5 is, in other words, the fifth term is clearly 9. I just want to show you, though, with an easy example, how we can use this perhaps complicated-looking equation. Now, the reason we do this is because we're not always just looking for the fifth term. Maybe I want the 5,000th term. Well, then I don't want to sit there and do this. Okay, so I'm going to show you with an easy example, and then I think we'll get more and more difficult as we go along. So u5 is the fifth term. Well, if I look at these numbers, then uh, I know that the common difference is 2. And I know that this is arithmetic because it has a common difference. The very fact that I can find a common difference means it's arithmetic by definition. But you're not always told that, so it helps to check. So because it's arithmetic, I have a common difference of 2. Well, that means then I know my un. Remember before, we just learned this. un is u1 plus n minus 1 times d. This is the generic equation we use. But I don't want un, I want u5. So I'll say u5 equals u1, that's the first term. Well, the first term is 1 in this case. So because of that, then I'm going to say 1 plus, and in brackets, let's see, I want the fifth term. So this is 5 minus 1. All that times d, which is 2. So that means u5 equals 1 plus, and I'll do this in brackets here, 5 minus 1 is just 4 times 2. Well, 4 times 2, if I remember my order of operations, I do multiplying before I add. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So u5 equals 9. Now you might think, well, this is such a long and stupid way to get to the answer that we knew. But again, the reason I showed you this is because it doesn't always have to be so easy like this.